Hello. So this is week two for um, my college stuff on values. Apply your education and experience in your work with individuals. Learn from each intervention with individuals. Learn from supervision. Learn from your discomfort. Learn from your positive and negative interactions and make connections with pr other providers. And it says it is your job too. So this is all the stuff that is your job too. But also to grow from every encounter. <laughs> So it's also your job to respect for di uh, diversity and differences and willing to be open to others' experiences. Self-doubt is an opportunity for growth, a need to be self-directed and independent, and to know when to seek guidance, and a need to be proactive um, and less reactive. So your values. What are your immediate thoughts or reactions to the statements below? So assuming responsibility for actions. Developing effective strategies for coping, developing an ability to give of giving and receiving, being sensitive to feelings of others, practicing self-control, a sense of purpose for living, being open, honest, and genuine, finding satisfaction in your work, a sense of identity and feelings of worth, skilled at interpersonal relationships. Can you define these for yourself? So I'd take a moment just to think about that. Um, because this can mean many different things. And I think for being in the case management field, a lot of these you have to have at least an aspect of. Great. Sensitive and nurturing, committed to relationships, um, dependent, self-awareness and motivation for growth, practicing good habits of physical and emotional health, mentor, what is your role in this equation? How to make the most of your supervision. The most important aspect is willingness to be vulnerable to your boss. Learn how to ask for help, be open and positive to negative and to negative and positive feedback. Several approaches, intervention strategies and relationship dynamics. This is a special time set aside just for you. Be prepared. Learn and observe. Seek examples for clarification. And then finally, it's helpful for you and your supervisor to create a learning plan for you, including areas for anxiety, growth, professional goals, etc. Regular notes should be kept, including the amount of time. Seek ethical clarification, theory development, intervention strategies, treatment planning, resource development, and personal growth. Professional growth.